Hello everyone, welcome to Bottom Science. Today we are going to understand the program of Simpson one-third rule in Fortran. Before jumping to the program, let's discuss some features of Simpson one-third rule. Simpson one-third rule is a process of evaluating a definite integral from a set of values of integrand function fx. This process is applied to a function of single variable only. And when applying this rule, we must have even number of equal subintervals. So we cannot apply Simpson one-third rule just anywhere. Instead, we must have even number of equal subintervals. So let's start with our program here. So in the beginning, we have declared this function here that is f and this takes only one variable remember that we have simpson one third rule only for the single variable only that is why we cannot enter two variables here for any function so we must have single valued function here and this is our function basically uh, in which we will input x1 value and evaluate the value of f and we get return the final value now let's come to our main program here so this is our program name here implicit none to avoid the ambiguity and this is our integer variables which we will use in the program and these are our real variables which we will use in the program so these are few print statements now let's come to our second section now we will take the lower limit value from the user and then upper limit from the user and then we will take the number of sub intervals that user have so based on these sub intervals we have we have to decide that whether the simpson one-third rule is applicable or not so if the sub intervals are even then we can apply this uh, rule here and if if the sub intervals are not even then we cannot apply and simply print number of intervals are not even so this is our main code here which helps us to calculate the final value of integral in the beginning we must check if the number of sub intervals are even or not so this mode function helps us to find out the remainder when we divide n by 2 if this function returns 0 then our n is even and we can perform the remaining calculations otherwise we cannot apply the simpson one third rule here and simply print this statement so if the number of sub intervals are even then we can perform this calculation here in the beginning we have to calculate the step size of the intervals as you can see that in the generalized formula of simpson one third rule we have some values that we can calculate in the beginning that is function at x naught and function at xn and also this 4 into x naught plus h that is x1 that is 4 into f of x1 then we can perform this looping statement here that will run from i is equals to 3 to n minus 1 from this statement we can calculate some internal values of this generalized formula so the remaining part is 4 into y3 plus y5 plus y7 up to y n minus 1. We should note that 4 into y1 is already calculated here. And this part will generate y3, y5 up to y n minus 1. Similarly, this part will generate 2 into y2 plus y4 up to y n minus 2. After calculating this integral term, we have to multiply it with h by 3. And our final result s will be printed here. Now let's try to run this program. First we compile, then build it, then execute. We enter lower limit of integral as 1 here. Then we enter upper limit as 3. Then we write number of sub intervals here. So let's say we write 4 here. So we get our desired result as 16892.06. One thing I want to again mention here is if you want to change your function, then you can change it from here. This is our function which we have used. You can choose your own function. But one thing you have to understand is that your function should have only one variable. So as we can see here, we have this only one variable in this whole equation that is x1. So I hope you understand the whole code. This code is also available on our website and the link is in the description below. So thanks for watching it. Have a nice day.